Okay, now one last thing. If you have distributed storage, there's one thing that might be a problem. What happens if you have a huge data file and only a little bit is changing? Do you, so if you, the original data, you only take one bit. But this bit has an impact on all the coded ones. So what do we really have to do there? There's um, this um, way how we code packets. I think you understand that. That was already part of the uh, lecture three, I guess. We have original data, we have the coding coefficients, we have more data, more co coding coefficients. We have coded data in the end, and we take the coding coefficients on top of this. This is the encoding vector plus some header for the uh, protocol layer. So what happens now if you have already some coded data and you have data one, and this D will change only this little d, right? It has an impact. So what you have to do now is to say, okay, what did I do there? Um, it was C1 multiplied D plus C2 multiplied D equal to B1, right? Now, what is this new D? This is the old D plus the change you made. The yellow is the change, right? Now, um, you can say this was the old coded B1, right? So you only have to code the change. So this is the old B1, this is already here. So you just take the, the, the delta coded with C1. This is the thing you have to know where it was placed, the change. And then you can say, okay, if this is over here, we just have to convey over the delta, right? Okay, so some traffic consideration. If you have um, replication, we ha always have to broadcast new change symbols. It doesn't matter to all the clients where the symbol is. If you have Reed Solomon, then we must encode again the full information and transmit then the new packets in the system. And this will result in many bytes to transport to change one bit or one byte. And in network coding, the system must broadcast the new change symbols. One byte to change one, um, one byte to change one byte. That is the same as replication. So this is a good one. And if you then look into replication, read Solomon network coding in storage cost, repair cost, and update cost, then you see that all of them have certain Failures. Replication costs you money because you need this, the storage. Read Solomon, repair cost, traffic, right? And um, update costs, um, there the uh, replication is good, Read Solomon is not so good. But as you've seen now, network coding is good. And for repair cost and storage cost, we have a trade-off. This is the curve of the ice curve, uh, um, iceberg there, okay?